Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how I built a modular guide for my circular saw that is going to be very versatile and easy to store. And as a plus, this is not going to be very expensive to build. To start, you will need quarter inch plywood. You can also use half inch plywood, but that's going to diminish the depth that the blade can reach when you use the guide. And for the top part of the guide, I'm using three quarter inch plywood, but you need to check where the motor's position is on your circular saw, how it's built, so that you can determine the best way of proceeding with the top piece. As this is a modular guide, I'm creating some 45 degree cuts in the guide so that I can unite the two pieces together. This is very important because the modularity of this guide is what makes it so great. The possibility of having it used for shorter cuts or for longer cuts and have a versatile guide that is not too heavy and that is not too bulky and that is easy to transport and to store. If you glue all the pieces the way I show you here in the video, you will be able to marry the two pieces together very well as I'm showing you here. And to make this guide even more beautiful, I'm coloring it a beautiful blue. You don't need to color it, you don't need to paint it, but I just want my tools and my jigs to be very beautiful. And I think it's gonna improve your experience. And the bottom, I'm using spray rubber. This is a very good application because it has a lot of grip, and so there will be less need to use clamps or other ways to secure the guide while you use it. Then, using a Forstner bead, I'm cutting some holes in both of the pieces of the guide so that it can be easily stored. And this is important because I want to keep it in my shop, easy to reach, but that it doesn't take too much space. And this is the perfect way to do that. Then the two pieces need to be secured. Once I use the modular function by uniting the two pieces, I do need to have them be stable because when I run the circular saw, it cannot move around. The pieces cannot shift on me. And so using these latches is a perfect way of doing that. The latches, once they're secured, they make basically these two pieces into one single piece. And to personalize this guide, as I'm an Italian American, I drew an Italian flag here. This is very easy to do. You can draw whatever flag, whatever image you want, and it's gonna personalize the guide even more, making it even more unique. And then it's time to baptize, so to speak, the circular saw guide with the circular saw so that it comes to perfect size and then using lacquer as a finish which makes it even more shiny and more beautiful and as you can see here my circular saw guide from Craig was too large for certain uses while one piece of this modular guide is perfect and for others the Craig one was too short and this one modular when the two pieces are connected is very large and very useful and then you can easily store these pieces. They're very portable, very light, and a great addition to my shop, something that you can also build very cheaply and that is gonna be very useful in your shop. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you find it useful, please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, hit the like button, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you again.